welcome back to Explore Mall. Right now, we are sitting in this beautiful, abandoned, millionaire's mansion. And actually, this mansion was once owned by the family Malbray. They were a very wealthy family. And just take a look where I'm sitting right now. The sofa and all the seats, all the glasses over here. This just looks so royal. It's so neat, still in so good condition, man. It's just unbelievable that this is left behind and that in Belgium. Just how shiny everything literally is. And look where you are standing, literally behind this small bar. Yeah, just imagine I'm standing behind this bar. It almost looks like this was maybe a bed and breakfast or something, but this was an actual villa. And these people used to invite guests, of course, to their mansion. And yeah, they used to serve them out some liquor, some drinks. You used to stand there and literally, oh, oh, I gotta be careful here. All these liquor bottles, all these glasses, little cognac glasses, but also for wine and everything. Whiskey has all just been left in this wooden cabinet. Currently still standing between all the beautiful chairs and the sofas. And what I did, did not mention yet, is over here, the beautiful ceiling. Look at the pattern of it, and actually the colors. It really gives me this bar vibe. Yeah, it's pretty neat how they made it. And pretty unique as well. And also this is really cool. Look. This was a very special find actually. Still in a really good condition. I think these used to be the owners. The actual owners in the later days when they were having dinner. Take a look. This is an actual dining table we are about to find in a minute. <laughs> this little tree. And also over here. Real silver platelets. Unbelievable. Actually, over here is a pretty big one. And yes, this is real silver. You can tell it's handcrafted as well. Wow. Currently, next to the bar area was actually their living room. Over here, they had these two really colorful chairs. And then right over there, yet this huge sofa. It was and definitely their lounging area where they would watch television, definitely look at the Kazi fireplace, yeah. right over there. Right over there. Actually, I need to say this is a pretty modern one. Like most of the times we find these really old ones with beautiful architecture. But this, this looks simple, but it still, it gives some good vibe to the room yeah and then not forget to mention their beautiful wedding picture take a look they were happily in love with each other very romantic and so beautiful to see and I'm hope they they are okay and they if they pass away they die in peace because the thing about this location is it has been abandoned now for five years and the problem is that there are issues concerning the inheritance of the relatives about this mansion about the interior about who's gonna get what and that is the actual reason that this place is abandoned and the actual story behind it it's really sad to hear it's unbelievable that yeah that we are just living in a society where people tend to be very materialistic and they are just having troubles and arguments within their family about money about belongings yeah bro everything is about money these days it's so sad to hear man I just love doing this, I just love having a hobby and this urbexing makes me forget everything between society, that's beautiful. That's right, this is what we love doing, this is our passion. Okay and then right over here in the living room we have this beautiful painting but it's so sad to see, you can definitely tell that people demolished it. Yeah, that's Why? just been ripped by people, probably by a knife, such a shame. Yeah, that's People tend to have no respect to such a beautiful abandoned place. It's really nasty to see. Really nasty to see. And 
this is why I already told the fireplace also look really modern but all these equipments over here man this is probably a cassette record from maximally 20 years ago yeah yeah and then right over here we actually have this Philips yeah. DVD recorder and those look very modern not longer than 10 years ago that they have been bought can I open it? Does that work? no no it's we attached to electricity all the broadcast TV channels <laughs> look <laughs> actually a blu-ray DVD over here yeah and this is a pretty popular child movie it's called the boss in the own forest maybe they also know it in another country well I saw it I know it <laughs> and then there is this kind of bonsai tree with this Japanese lad just chilling so many little cool artifacts in this place and these people we are in Belgium at the moon but they were not Belgian these people are actually from a Dutch origin and it's funny because you can tell wine mills it's a very typical thing for the Netherlands that has just been left here like a souvenir and then this lamp this lamp is not typical Dutch but this lamp is typical Belgian style from the 1920s we have found it so many times before yeah, in abandoned really, houses really vintage one indeed actually in the middle of the living room there are all these toys on the ground and look what I just found this is an old PlayStation controller I used to have a similar one which is an RC and you can tell that the kids, the children of this family Malbré probably also were very spoiled. They had that many toys. And I just all remember them from my own childhood. All these Marvel figures. Over here are some old pictures. Yeah. Probably from the Anchesters. Okay, and also in the living room we have this wooden cupboard and it's filled with old pictures from the family we used to live here. Right over there. Definitely the children. Oh, and you can tell that they love traveling as well. This picture, this playlist was made as a souvenir in Rio de Janeiro <laughs> in Brazil. And it's definitely taken in the older days. Such a beautiful capture. Then let's see what we can find right over here. I already see some old letters. Let's check. Yes, alright, so the man's name was Francois. Okay, now I'm also wondering what was the woman's name, but I don't know if we can find it. At least if there is a letter which is dedicated to the woman. This is to a person in Brussels. Okay. Well, actually right over here, I see a passport. Um, let's see, oh yeah, this was the woman, wait. Okay, if you can hide a picture, we can briefly show it to them. Oh, Jose. Jose, Sorgin, Lucien, Malbré. <laughs> yeah, Jose, that's a typical Belgian woman's name actually. You yeah. still hear it a lot nowadays. I think. When I look at her back names, like, yeah, she had some Spanish relatives. Really? Yeah. Wow. And a Dutch origin as well. And these pictures, they still look pretty recent. Probably was from the daughter. Ten years ago. She, was, she is in our age right now. Yeah. Actually, pretty insane to think about. And also the passport, it hasn't changed in this time. It's still the same like this. So there is also this box with knitting tools and equipment. That's typical where all the women in Belgium used to spend their leisure time with. Just sewing all the time, making some scars, eventually maybe for their grandchildren. You find it a lot. And then over there, there is a beautiful porch 
and the sunlight is just falling through it. This is the perfect moment to film it. Wow. And this looks so modern with only seeing this room you would not even think that this place is abandoned. It looks pretty staged. I gotta admit it, I think it's not left in this condition, but it's probably a setup from photographers. But it just gives a really cool look with still these three bottles of liquor, the beautiful golden railing of the chairs, and then the table which is still made up. So there's a lot of modern pictures actually left and they're telling a story of the family Malbray which used to live there. So let's scan all these pictures. They were having the birthday of the woman of Jose. She turned 64. This was Jose probably with her grandson. They had a pie. It's unbelievable that that many memories were spent inside of this house and this is actually not in the house but this is in a cafe or something and they also had a dog probably they loved animals this was their dog this is actually made over here you see those are the tiles of the room that's hair and those are the chairs and those are those chairs unbelievable the picture has just been made inside and they don't they not only like dogs but also this little fluffy kitten but it's a doll it's fake and then over here we have this huge kitchen which is completely filled with stuff i have never seen a design like this of a kitchen man this is a really big one actually it gives me like this american movie the, the, the kids is in the American movies. Just yeah. The size of it, how huge it actually is. And like I told, so many stuff left over here. Look. You still have coffee over here? No way. <laughs> yeah, huh. just still. All still in the bags. Unbelievable. That is just left. And right over here, this was the case for all the keys. Oh my gosh, all the keys are also just loving it. I don't know if those are all the keys, but we had these hangers for the keys as well. There's a jaw still filled with fruit. And over here some china plates. Actually really beautiful ones. Look. What are they saying? Um, made in France. It is porcelain de Sologne. Interesting, but I think it's quite modern though. Yeah, actually. Well, and over here, we have some other china. What do you find over here, actually? Some other kitchen equipment. Yeah, a lot of kitchen amenities and even those holders for the ice cubes and even more mock spots like literally everything of the family Malbray which used to spend all their life and holidays and everything inside of this house it's left take a look at the design above the furnace all these tiles and then over here is a very old-fashioned antique coffee grinder so they used to place the coffee beans in here they grinded them and eventually they would fall down here and they would collect the coffee powder to make coffee of it. Actually over here we have this pretty modern microwave. Look. Or was it an oven? This was a microwave and underneath it there was an oven. And they are so modern. Huh. Unbelievable. And I think this was yeah, this was the refrigerator. What? Completely empty though, but man. There is an old calendar here and it's dated from 2010 so that would mean that the place is indeed abandoned for 10 years as we said. Yeah, and that also explains the pretty modern stuff that is actually still inside. And then behind this door we actually noticed there's these hangers for all codes and everything and also this 
religious artifact. Literally everything is still hanging over there. It's really cool to see. And what is this actually? I mean, this is a clock, wow. Wait, look. That's a beautiful clock from Quartz. Ran from Switzerland and it used to hang there with that nail, but it has fallen down. Well, I guess I'm just gonna leave it over here, but the golden pattern on it is really cool. Yeah. The very beautiful and modern clock, and I think it was pretty expensive. Yeah, right over here. We have yet another family picture. Man, with a lot of grandchildren, it was a big family. Some old, old currency. I guess these were all francs. Yeah, that's the old currency of Belgium, the francs. And in 2004, the euro was invented. And all the European countries, they got the euro as the modern currency, which is still applied nowadays. And they are all over the place, all these old franc coins. It's like 25 euro cent nowadays, it's around 40 dollar cents. And over here in this china cabinet, they still have a lot of glasses left. Actually, this is a beer brand, Carlsberg. I'm not gonna pick it up because of the mold, but it says Carlsberg. I know it from nowadays. Also, all these telephone numbers here from there, France and everything. I can't show them to you, but there's so much small things left. Oh, this is actually a famous person from television in Belgium. He's called Jean-Marie Puff and he has his own TV program. Really cool actually. There's so much stuff and it's left all over the place. And I noticed there's a lot of souvenirs from Lourdes. I think it's in France, but I'm not sure. I love these China collections here. They are very specially designed and very detailed as well. And then over here we have this old printer. Look. Well, it's not that old, it's quite modern from Samsung. I think it has been bought 15 years ago. Oh yeah, but there is a spider literally right over here. And also a quite modern television from the brand Philips. Unbelievable, and then all the mess on the ground, all the lecture which has just been thrown by people, by vandalists who visit this place with wrong intentions. Such a shame, I mean it's so sad. Yeah, it's really sad to see. But what we also notice inside of this kitchen is look. The tree trunk and the wooden ceiling and everything. Like, this is no Belgian, this is no Dutch, no, this is a German style. Yeah. I think this is one of the last pictures of the couple, the wealthy couple, happily in love. And the man went first, Francois. And three years later, Jose went to a nursing home and eventually she passed away there. And right now, all the relatives, their daughters, their grandchildren, everyone, they are just having arguments about the inheritance, about all the interior. Old letter from 1984, handwritten in Dutch. So fun over here. There's a cabinet with some quite cool things. Look at the dogs. All sewing equipment. China. Artwork of a camel. Probably they also went to Egypt. I think these people used to travel a lot. Maybe even for their company. I think the men had a company because they were pretty wealthy people. But inside these shelves there's a lot of medicines. So probably the people are having a bad health condition in the later days. We feel very unfortunate for that. Then over here you had a key hanger with an actual wooden key to hang it on. That's and also really nice. these cowbells which were actually bottle openers. Yeah, these people travel a lot for sure. This is even from Ibiza. I think they have traveled the whole world. Man, these people, they yeah. love to travel. And they were very wealthy. You can definitely tell that all these signs of just travel all around the world and just their interior and their house. 
a millionaire's mansion. So maybe you're thinking if somebody is a millionaire, this house is still pretty small for, well, it's definitely an extraordinarily huge house, but I think these people did not only own this house, but eventually they also got like more holiday houses all around the globe where they wanted to travel. Maybe Ibiza is very popular for people from the Netherlands and Belgium to buy a holiday house there. And then there is another room. Yeah, and this room is actually filled, overfilled with stuff. I literally don't know where to look. Looks like a hoarder's room. Oh, this game I used to play when I was a child. You had two contestants sitting next to each other and somebody needed to think about who the other person was. So you would ask the other person, do you have white hair? And if you said no, then you would put these down and it's called who are you? Probably you also have it in the States with all the different names. And eventually there is one left and then you say, are you Bernard? Then he says yes, and then you won the game of the other contestant. Girl's toy. And over here, another wedding picture. Beautiful, it's made on the actual staircase inside of the mansion. You will see this one. This is the window, and then take a look right now. They definitely had a company, I think. Yeah, but what is really sad to see is right over there is a pretty modern printer, but it's just thrown over. And I only see games left. I literally expect like a big computer is still standing over here. Also, all these rackets inside of the covers. Unbelievable. Just still left over here. And then. There is a wardrobe filled with children's clothes. So probably this was not only a purpose for her office, but also for a storage for all the clothes of their grandchildren. I mean, I don't know. Well, this is, I guess, a miniature. I don't know if it's the exact house, but no. Maybe it was their holiday house. This puppet, a Bible. Oh, actually a Bible. Yeah, a real Bible. inside of this massive ballroom and there's this majestic chandelier hanging in the middle of the ceiling inside this room and honestly I think this is one of the most beautiful chandeliers we ever found I mean such a design all the curvatures the rounds amazing and then to imagine it is just inside of a mansion in Belgium However, it looks like the ceiling has burned. I mean, there are like traces of an aftermath of burn. And I'm not sure, maybe it was just the actual color of the wall. And then to imagine the architecture and the design of the wall paintings as well. Wow. And this wall design, there's a similar one, slightly different than the other one, but oh so beautiful as well. Unbelievable that this is being abandoned in Belgium. And then the arches here, Renaissance style, and you are standing in the main entrance hall. Yeah, this is a really beautiful one. Actually, it's pretty huge over here. And so much space. Yeah, and yet again, I first want to point out this. Look at the ceiling. Wow. And look at the sides, the details over there. Absolutely amazing. And then to imagine that this Grand door where the people came in, full of cobwebs now. And the first thing you would see are these two beautiful mirrors, and then this over here. Egypt, oh. doesn't it? It looks like it. Like also these details over here, this woman. Yeah, it looks like an Egyptian style. 
They definitely loved an Eastern style inside of their house. Well, also influence of the Renaissance. And then, oh my gosh, everything is from marble. Literally everything. What do you think that was used to be over here? A statue from Jesus, I oh, think. Yeah. Or Maria. Something religious for sure. And then yet again, beautiful wall. Wow. And a sofa. Is it a comfy one? Oh yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> well, and looking at the curtains, and imagine we were showing the picture of their wedding that was made here on this beautiful staircase and then another majestic chandelier. Can't wait to explore the upstairs. Everything in this house, you can tell. Again, we keep on saying it, but these people had a good style for architecture, a good style for design, but they didn't need to worry about their money while Designing the house. Yeah, they, they just were, did it how they wanted it. They were wealthy And then take a look at the length of this Upstairs hallway. There are many bedrooms Let's just walk straight inside of this one Looks slightly trashed at first sight again a beautiful artwork also vandalized I think so at least. Yeah. Such a shame. So sad to see. Then this looks like another office spot. Oh, and all these baby clothes here. And the children's wardrobe. There's even a globe. You can tell that these people love traveling. Yeah. But the most beautiful thing inside of this room is definitely the family picture. Wow, a very antique family picture, probably from almost 80 years ago. I think this was actually the woman who lived there in the last days. And this was her father, her mother, and even her grandmother. Then there is another shelf of books, but there are some really cool artworks here. For example, this sword. And then, take a look. Scorpion, dolphin, all the different symbols and different months you were born. Also this oak leaf, so detailed. Then we gotta walk over a lot of trash again to go to the next bedroom. Raymond is already having a look there. Oh, and take a look at this. This is Brussels, the capital of Belgium. And it's a complete map, like a sketch. Whoa, I heard you shouting. This is really nice. Man. It's crazy all these houses. Imagine that this thing was once handmade. Unbelievable. On the opposite side, a very clean and modern one. I think this was a woman's bedroom. Let's take a look. Yeah, this was a woman's bedroom. Oh, all the dresses and the jackets. Very colorful clothes. A lot of makeup tools, perfume, even more colorful clothes. <laughs> then over here, they used to iron their clothes. And what's really cool is this was the actual iron. They would place it on top of this plate with it's actually a fish. It's also a little bit of mold on it. They would place it here if it had to cool down for example. Actually, I'm asking myself, there are so many clothes left over here. Do you think that the woman had like to do something with uh, making clothes or like knitting? Possibly, or they just bought whatever they wanted. 
as it could be true. Wow, the girl doing a communion. You can tell by the bracelet with the crucifix. Another picture of two girls doing a communion. <laughs> a picture of a boy, look at him, giggling with an earring in. <laughs> and then there is this very modern and still very clean looking vanity. Take a look here in the corner. That's also Egyptian. It's a camel. Oh, and a seashell as well. There's so many things which were bought in other countries. Then a pretty modern radio. And this bed over here. And you know what I also really like? This look at the fur coat. Wow. Yeah. She had a good style, but fortunately they needed to kill. Just a susceptible animal for making this coat. That's a fact I don't like. But it happens in our society nowadays. What? No way! No way! What is this? I don't know. Man. A music box? I just opened it and it started playing. This never happened to us. What? Okay, let's check out the bathroom. Looks also very modern with all these blue dots and everything. Hair dryer we just left. Furthermore, not really interesting, really modern. Not very historical, what we like to find. But then all these red leaves. And each side they used to Hang lamps everywhere, but they have been stripped, they've yeah. been looted. And then right over here, we have yet another bathroom, but... Whoa, see. even more wedding pictures. And then a vanity with a picture of a younger girl. Right over there. And a crucifix in the middle. Beautiful wooden vanity, however... This wardrobe only has some trousers and a lot of blankets laying there. Another souvenir from Lurus. We tend to find it a lot. What I find the coolest is this little desk with a marble tile with all the old pictures. Probably this was the father of Jose, the woman who lived there in her later days. Probably also her mother from Jose with some friends. E this dancer, this fake dancer. Ah, why are these things left? Another purse, and again, a memory box full of old pictures actually inside the mansion itself, the dining table. Time to go to the next bathroom. That's right over here. This is the most luxurious bathroom with the mirrors, a lot of DVDs. But all these showering equipment and all the washing tools, shampoo, deo, even the toothbrushes. This place legit, it's like people left yesterday. It's only trashy at some point. A scale, a bar tube and air with the green dots, a beautiful inbuilt shower. Unbelievable. Then again, another bathroom. A lot of comic books, so this was definitely a children's bathroom. A huge collection. Unbelievable. Toys. She's still opening her eyes, you see. Strala. Wow, this crucifix with this purse. So beautiful. I love the design actually of this cabinet. Take a look. Beautiful with the blue and the white and then these little stripes and it's actually matching the wardrobe which I find also magnificently made. Again, full of clothes and everything. Wow, and everything in this room 
has a similar design with the blue and the whites. Same for the bed. I don't really like the actual blanket. It's not matching the interior in my opinion. Almost the last bathroom but we are not going to enter this one because of black mold. Only showing you a quick overview around because the coolest feature inside of this room is this television from the 1970s, 1980s. Pretty vintage one. Then it's time to show them the last bathroom of the actual couple. Yeah. The grand bathroom, master bathroom. You can definitely tell this was the master bathroom. Oh. And this <laughs> is one evidence that these people were that wealthy. This is a very expensive clothing brand for Zachi. And this is the actual shopping bag of it. Still left there. Unbelievable. And Raymond also wanted to point out. What I noticed is, yeah. Some lingerie over here, next to a bottle of liquor. Unbelievable that they spend memories inside of these clothes that they have just been left behind. Really. Crazy to think about. Also these lamp and the projector screen. We have found projectors downstairs, so that makes sense actually. Feathers in the pillow, a writing desk. You find them a lot, cabinets like these. With all these tiny holes to put the pens and everything in. Another identity card. This was their actual son. I think he's in the mid 20s. Unbelievable. And he was a student in the year 2007 till 2008, the study year. More of these old francs, the currency of Belgium before 2004. And then the wardrobes. It's literally one single clothing. And you can see signs of mud. Ugh, it's disgusting, but I think there's also an expensive brand from Canada. Well, I don't know if it's expensive, but if you know anything about expensive clothes, leave it down in the comment section. Yeah, especially from the back in the day ones. The mirror doors. They won't open, unfortunately. No, they are stuck. Well, we already checked the attic and there is literally nothing over there. So we have one more thing to go, and that is the basement. Follow us. Okay, so currently walking down this creepy, creepy looking basement. Ooh, and a lot of cobwebs. I don't want to stuck in them again. Ooh, it's actually pretty big. Yeah, well, at first sight there is a lot of stuff left, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look over there, that one is really cool, the old bicycle. Oh my, and also all these shoes still full of mold by the moisture of the basement and the cold temperatures. But take a look, they're all still perfectly in the shelf. How is that possible? Well then right over here, all the food, but I gotta admit, I don't trust with the mold, man. Yeah, I will be wearing my mask and quickly panning around, showing you the highlights. It was not a storage room. Another kind of storage, there is a baby chair. All these conserved fruits inside the jars. Another fridge. This was the shell of the lady. All their palms and heels of the woman you see are left. There's a washing area and a power room. There's a washer. All these jackets as well still hanging here. Unbelievable. And then we enter a giant room. Gigantic. Oh! What are you doing, man? Oh, yeah, sorry, man. I, I just saw you filming and I was like, yeah, let's treat the chess. I mean, like. There is literally a complete gym over here. <laughs> like a complete gym, but these things are still in a very good shape. Look. Bro, and they are really expensive. I wish I had them at home. And they're still working as well. Yeah. Also, all their tools and equipment. I think the man used to be very handy. Or he had maybe his workers doing the garden. 
and doing all small jobs inside of this mansion. Take a look at these old fashioned glasses. Nowadays, they're actually pretty popular, but they were born around the 1960s. Wow, this radio. And there's actual the radio. There's a record player. All the old frequencies, London, Brussels, Hamburg in Germany, Rome, Paris, Strasbourg. And then there's three crucifixes. This white one of marble. This one which is completely rusty with a headless Jesus. Such a shame. Must have been vandalized. And then another one there. You would almost, almost miss out on it. Yeah, a little cart. <laughs> Such random stuff left. Also a football table and a giant pile of bricks. Probably for the fireplace above. Yeah, well, I think it's a good point to close the video because I think we showed the highlights of this mansion and we want to try to make this video a little shorter than usual. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But I gotta point out one more thing. A chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's doing any more. You do it. Yeah, be careful. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> we don't know how to handle these things. Well, anyways, before we're gonna do any dangerous things, we not do it behind the camera. You know the drill. Well, I hope you liked it as much as we did. You saw us definitely having fun, and we showed you so many details. It was so nice inside of here. Well, I hope you just liked it. And you know, indeed, the drill. Like, subscribe, comment down below, ring the bell notification button, and then we will see you next time. See ya!